Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing and setup of the Persona Studio 1810C. This is a 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz capable audio interface and uh, it's from our friends at Personas. We've talked a lot about their uh, gear here on our channel many times before and this is one that uh, we do train a lot of folks how to use and set up here at Obedia and we configure this with our PC Audio Labs laptops very often as well and so we thought we'd just show it off to you. Uh, this is a 18x8 USB-C compatible audio interface so it uses the new USB-C standard connection uh, and that's going to give you super fast connection speeds to your uh, computer when you are recording and of course it is capable of up to 192 kilohertz uh, sample rate which is excellent for those who want to record very high sample rates. Uh, so this is the packaging as you can see and we'll go ahead and unbox. So we've got the device right here wrapped up nice and we'll take that out and then we also have our USB cables, power cables, and a power adapter right over here. We'll set all that aside. Taking a look at the interface, on the front we have four combination XLR and TRS input jacks uh, for mic and line input. We have 48 volt phantom power for each of those and input meters as well as a main meter, mute and AB compare, and then we have our gain dials for each of these inputs. We have a headphone knob and a main mix knob as well. And then looking on the back of the unit, we have our power switch. We also have our USB-C ports right here. We have MIDI ports, standard MIDI ports, ADAT in, SPDIF, line out, TRS jacks, main out TRS jacks, line in TRS jacks, and headphone jacks. Okay, and now we're going to set up the Studio 1810C with our PC Audio Labs Pro Audio Laptop. We are using a 2020 edition MCM7 17 inch, and this is pretty easy to do. We're just going to plug our USB C cable into the back of the 1810C and then the same on our laptop. Now the 1810C is completely controlled by the Personas Universal Control software and so this is where we can choose our sample rate, our block size and also access the virtual mixer for the 1810C and then all we need to do is open our Studio One software. All right, and now Studio One has opened up, and if we haven't already configured it, we will navigate to the audio setup in Studio One and select Studio USB as our audio interface, and then hit OK. Now we will see a little image that is just the same as the Studio 1810C, showing us that the 1810C is set up as our audio interface with our PC and with Studio One and then all we need to do is create a new song. Now when we create a new song we can navigate to the interfaces tab and here we will find a template that is already set up for the Studio 1810. We can select that and then hit OK. And then this will load a template that's already preset and ready to go with the Studio 1810C and this will give us all the inputs and outputs that we need in order to start recording. Now, if the Studio 1810C is going to be our primary audio interface, it's a good idea at this point to go into the Studio One setup and song setup and then to quickly just double check, make sure that everything is to our liking with our configuration on both inputs and outputs. And if we like the way that everything is set up, we'll click on the button Make Default and this will make this the default audio input and output configuration for any new songs that we create in Studio One. This would also include songs that we created using a blank template. Uh, a blank template just simply would not have all of these tracks and channel strips already set up, but our audio input and output settings would then be configured accordingly for our audio interface, the 1810C. And then to start recording, I've plugged in my uh, Blue Mics Baby Bottle microphone into the input 1 on the Studio 1810C, adjusted the input 1 gain knob, 
and I can see by speaking into the mic, I can see the level right here in Studio One, and I can also see the level meter right here on the front of the 1810C, which is super useful for being able to monitor my signal. And then once I've done that, all I need to do is go ahead and hit record, and when I hit record, I'll be able to see my recorded signal showing up on the first track, which is the track that I have an input set up to go into. I had all of my tracks armed to record right there, but in this case I utilized, of course, just one input into the audio interface. Now ideally, of course, you would spend a little bit of time uh, getting everything set up with respect to your levels, uh, your mic placement, things along those lines, but it's real quick and easy and uh, simple to set up. As you can see, I don't have uh, monitors currently set up with my, my 1810C, but ideally, of course, you connect a set of speaker monitors up to your 1810C, and Personas has some great offerings for that. Hook those up, pair that up with your PC Audio Labs Pro Audio Laptop, and you've got a really awesome music production rig ready to go right there. Uh, so there you have it, everyone. That is a quick look at the Personas Studio 1810C from Personas. And again, we set this up with our PC Audio Labs Pro Audio Laptop, the MCM7 2020 edition of this Pro Audio Laptop. You can find more information about those at PCAudioLabs.com. And if you're looking to get information about the Studio 1810C and Studio One, make sure to check out Personas' website. And of course, if you'd like training on your pro audio hardware and software, give us a call at Obedia. We'll help you attain your technology and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, because that's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, everyone, I am Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time, and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.